Hello, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Christina and today I invite you to a tutorial regarding two-factor authentication and especially the Google Authenticator app and how you need to use it. Let's dive in and see when, why and how you should use this application. Keeping your account secure is very important in every single area that you have to deal with. The cryptocurrency domain makes no exception. No matter if you use exchanges or online wallets, enabling two-factor authentication is going to add a new security layer for your account. So every time you deal with sensitive information or with money, just take into consideration to enable two-factor authentication. How we can do that? Most of the services provide two main ways of enabling two-factor authentication. The first is using your mobile phone number, and they are going to send you an SMS with a code of four or six digits code that uh, you will have to introduce in order to authenticate to an account, in order to sign in. The second main and probably the most easy way is to use Google Authenticator application. Google Authenticator is an app that is available for both Android and iOS devices. As far as I could hear, there is an extension for Google Chrome too, but I don't recommend using that. If you usually use your computer, your laptop in order to sign in to your account, then I highly encourage you to use a mobile device for the second way to authenticate. Why is that? Because if someone gets access to your computer, they will have access probably to your password if you store it in your browse cache. But if you have two-factor authentication enabled, they're going to need another device in order to sign in to your account. So your computer is not going to be enough if you choose to have Google Authenticator on a mobile device, Android or iOS. Let's see what this does and how it actually secures your account. I have here a mobile phone, an Android mobile phone, and I'm going to go to Play Store. I have searched for this application. If you go and just right here, Google Authenticator, you will see this application and this is the logo. It is very simple and easy to find, install and use. Okay, done. Let's open it and see how this looks like. Here we have a sum up of what Google Authenticator app is doing. When you want to access an account, a crypto account, an exchange account, you will need your password and I highly encourage you to make it strong and keep it somewhere safe and a quote from this application. You have to know that this application generates a new code every 30 seconds and this is a six digit quote. Let's see. I'm going to skip all that because it shows you how to uh, set up Google Authenticator for your Google account. I'm going to show it on an exchange. I have made a tutorial for raw.exchange and I'm going to leave a link down below in the description. Here I am on my raw.exchange um, account and you can see here two-factor authentication enabled. They give you all the information you need and this means that you have here a QR code and here you have a key. Why is that? Because on your Google Authentication application, you can choose either of these um, ways in order to configure it. You can scan a barcode, a QR code actually, or you can enter manually enter a provided key. I'm going to go with the barcode, with scanning the barcode. I have to enable record and taking pictures on my phone and let's do that. As you could see, it is able to identify extremely easy uh, the QR code and introduce uh, the needed data. Actually, in this QR code, it is the same, it is written the same key as you can see here in this ciphertext. And what else is in this QR code? It says for what account this code is. 
Why is that? Because if you have multiple accounts, let's say you use multiple exchanges for uh, trading your cryptocurrencies, you will have here multiple codes. And because this is for uh, this tutorial only, I'm going to show you how my actually Google Authenticator application looks like. Here I have, this is my phone and I have codes for every single crypto exchange that I have ever used, you see? I'm not using all that at this moment, but every time I have created an account, no matter if I've used it uh, or not, every single time I have been able to factor authentication. So going back, here we have a six digit code that is changing every 30 seconds. And you can see here um, how much time you have left. You, have, you can see here that you have just a few seconds. If you use it on an iPhone, the last five, during the last five seconds, this code turns from uh, blue to red, so you know that this is going to change. Okay, so I have installed Google Authenticator. I have configured it with this QR code. The next very important thing is to keep this key somewhere safe. I recommend writing it down somewhere. I'm just going to um, copy it into a notepad and here I have it. I'm going to do that just to show you how to use it and why this is very important. If something happens, if your phone um, is broken or you lose it, you can gain access to your account using this key. I'm going to show you how, but now, if you have scanned this QR code, you have written down this key, now you have to introduce here a quote from the phone. In order to enable it and they to ensure that you have uh, access to your account, then you have to introduce a quote from your application, from your Google Authenticator application. And because here I have just five seconds, I'm going to wait for the new code. I usually do that, so I'm not in a rush. Let's see, the, co the code has changed. Let's introduce it. Three, four, eight, okay, enable. Okay, different exchanges have different policies regarding two-factor authentication. For some of them, if you enable it, it's going to use it for the sign-in process or and for anything else. Now, with this exchange, with the raw dot exchange, once you enable it, you can see here that it is enabled. They're going to use it only for withdrawal. If you want to sign in using two-factor authentication, you have to click here, enable, and they have made uh, it automatically. Now, how do you use it? As I mentioned, when you want to withdraw, you're going to have to introduce this code the same way as I will need to introduce it when I want to sign into my account. Let's see. This is how Rollout Exchange looks like when you open the page. If you want to sign in, here I have the email. I have saved in my browse cache the password, but that's just for the tutorial purpose. I don't recommend that and I don't use that. Sign in, okay, you see password, that's the first way to authenticate and now it requires Google Authentication, Authenticator quote. And my quote now is, let's see it, okay, here I have, the time is finishing, I'm going to wait, let's introduce this new quote, 079, verify, okay. So this is the way to factor authentication works and this is how Google Authenticator works. In my opinion, it's very, very easy. It takes you just a couple of minutes in order to configure it. And uh, it might be a little annoying to use it, especially if you do daily trading or you want to access your account every single day. Uh, you will need to introduce that. And if you don't keep your password in the browse cache, with I, which I highly recommend, then it's going to be a little more annoying because you'll have to introduce that and that and that. I mean, password and code, but it doesn't matter in my opinion. As long as you have money there, you want to protect it as much as you can. Now, what happens if 
you lose your phone or you simply don't have access to your Google Authenticator app. I'm going to show you all that. I'm going to uninstall and install again the application. Let's uninstall. I'm going to make it in the most simple way. I'm going to hit here and so what happens so let's say you don't have access to the same phone but you have another mobile device with android or ios and what you do you go in either play store or uh, app store and search for google authenticator app and obviously install it i'm going to install it again on this mobile phone now i have installed google authenticator uh, again what can I do in, in order to access my account? Because if I sign in, I have here email, password. I'm going to introduce this captcha so they ensure I'm not a robot that is trying to sign in. I have entered it in a wrong manner. Let's sign in. And now it requires me um, the code from Google Authenticator. But if I open the application, there is nothing. What can I do? If I have the key, the cipher text, they call it the key that I showed you that I mentioned before, then it is extremely simple. I don't choose scan a barcode. I don't have a QR code to scan, but I can enter the key that is doing basically the same as the QR code. Remember that I mentioned that you should write it down and keep it safe. Okay, back, back, back. Here I have, I have the key and I can leave this one uh, like that. It's going to uh, write a null. Let's see. It's, it's not writing anything. I remember that, I don't know, maybe a few years ago on Binance, when you scanned the QR code, uh, there was no, uh, nothing in that label you see here in the account name there was nothing and uh, it was the code and here I had a null and I knew that the only code I had on my application with null belonged to Binance they have updated their QR code so now if you use it from Binance you'll see that Binance I don't remember how it's written uh, la, la, let's have a look let's have a look Binance, where do we have Binance? Okay. So here I here I have, let's see. Okay, you can see the quote and Binance written down there. You can see multiple crypto accounts on my phone. But you should never leave it like that. You should never leave a quote without uh, being it associated with an account. Let's add another one. I'm going to use the same key and show you what exactly you have to do. Here is raw.exchange account. Okay. You can see it is the same code associated with my account with that key that I have provided. And now I have access again to my raw.exchange account. Okay, let's enter this code I have plenty of time okay 488 I've written 8 not 9 there is a 9 verify and now I have access to my account what happens if you forgot to write down that key well you will need to contact support from the specific platform that you want to access and uh, it's going to be quite a long process generally it is quite a long process especially if the market is up and many people have a lot of requests so i highly encourage you to take care with that as i mentioned you have to contact the support and they will be able to remove two-factor authentication from your account but this is um, a little dangerous process so the exchange has to ensure that it is you who's asking uh, for the removal of the two-factor authentication. So I could uh, I could read on different forums people had this problem and they had to provide a lot of personal information to, in order to uh, remove two-factor authentication from their account. 
and regain access to their account uh, and they had to do video calls and I don't know they had to answer a lot of questions they had to provide addresses if they used an exchange addresses to which they have sent money and what type of cryptocurrency and so on and this is completely understandable because if someone gets access to your password that someone can uh, request uh, two-factor authentication to be removed from your account and you don't want that so just uh, take care to write down uh, the quote somewhere safe and keep it safe not on a notepad on your computer don't send it in any sort of digital way just write down somewhere and keep it safe if you have enabled two-factor authentication and um, you haven't written down that quote there might be accounts where you don't have access to the key they show you the key just once and then they don't uh, show it again. I highly encourage you to disable two-factor authentication from your, from your account and then enable it again and write down the key. If you change your phone, you have two options. You either enter all these manual keys, you enter manually all the keys on your new device. Of course, you install Google Authenticator and add okay the key not to uh, by scanning the QR code by but by providing the key or um, you disable two-factor authentication from your accounts and enable it again while using the new phone but remember that the keys generally change uh, it's not the case with uh, this uh, exchange but on others the keys change so um, just take into consideration to write down the new kids. These are the most important aspects uh, about two-factor authentication. And this is how you should use a uh, Google Authenticator application. If you want to remove a quote, I don't know how this is done here. I don't use an Android phone generally. And let's discover, okay, if I long click on it, I have the possibility to reorder these and if I have a long click here I have uh, the remove and the edit if I go to edit I have the possibility to ring to rename that would be oh here raw exchange let's see it like that okay or I have the possibility to remove it and here they tell you what happens if you remove a quote. It removes your ability to generate quotes. However, it will not turn off two-factor authentication. This is why I told you about um, if you lose your phone or it breaks. It has nothing to do if, with your account, with, with your crypto account. It won't turn off TFA from your account, it has nothing to do. This may prevent you from signing into your account. And they tell you before removing, turn off two-factor authentication for this account or ensure that you have an alternative mechanism for generating quotes. Okay, this is it. In my opinion, uh, Google Authenticator is extremely useful and it is very, very easy to use. I highly encourage you to use that. If you follow this video until this moment, and if you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, and let me know in the comment section below if you're using it and uh, if you have any questions about it. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Christina. I thank you so, so much for being here and hope to see you around. Bye.